Hey guys, it's May May and it's time for our scripture art journal for this week. This week we're looking at a scripture from Romans um, and the way it came to me is my son Thomas was asked to speak at our youth led service last weekend and he spoke from Romans and talked about not being ashamed of the gospel and carrying the gospel to the people that need the gospel, which is all of us in my opinion. And this is the scripture he drew from. Romans 1 16 says for I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes to the Jew first and then and also the Greek and that's different in different uh, translations this is the ESV translation I'm reading from today but the word unashamed is what got me and I want to tell you too and I can tell you as I get going but I've received some comments lately that kind of really had me thinking about this so as we go I'll talk about those um, this we're going to focus on the word unashamed. Can you see I've got it laid up here in stamps? I found this stamp set at a yard sale or either a thrift store. I don't remember, but I the regular price was $24.99. I did not pay that for it. I want to say I paid, oh look, $1.59 at the thrift store. That's where I found it. But I grabbed it as soon as I saw it because these letters are so cool. And I just thought they'd be really neat for this page. But as you can tell, they're not going to fit on this one side where I've been doing my journaling. So I'm going to have it go across the page in the middle. So I'm going to branch out, okay? I'm not ashamed to branch out. So that's what we're going to do today. But I also want to try to use some colors, um, some markers and things. So I'm afraid if I leave my paper as thin as it is, I may have some bleed through. So I'm going to glue some pages together with my art glitter glue. Now, I told you I've received some comments that have gotten me thinking lately, and I've gotten them before. Um, they're not bad comments or anything. It's just a reminder for me. I had somebody tell me recently that they're so glad they found me, and they love that I'm not ashamed or afraid or embarrassed to share my love of God with everyone, and that they really appreciated that. And, you know, I've been told that many, many times over the years, especially after starting the Hide His Word in My Heart journey, and I'm really, I'm very happy that that's, um, portrayed in what I do. Now, it's important too that you know that um, scripture, you know, is something that we hold personal and we take it to heart. And I do take to heart that I should share the gospel because if I'm ashamed of the gospel before men, then Jesus will be ashamed of me before the Father. And I don't want that to happen, right? So we are going to be unashamed and share the gospel. And we've talked, we've, you know, looked at some tools already in 2016's journey of how to share the gospel. So super cool stuff. I'm really happy that people um, comment to me like that about things. Because I want to do some coloring in here, I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink for this. And I did a little test run with these guys. I want them to be kind of sloppy and across the page. And this is kind of the layout that I came up with, like four letters on each page. And I'm going to have to get creative down here with this E and this D, but I can make them work. So that's how they're going to lay out. Um, so I'm going to start on the other side of the page first. And I'm going to do one letter at a time, stamping them down. Um, and then I'm going to write around it. <laughs> so my scriptures this week won't be you know, neatly laid out the way I have been laying them out in the past. We're going to do a little more fancy footwork. Now, these stamps are not photopolymer. These are like an acrylic, so the ink is going to bead up on them, and I may not get this perfect impression that I would like to get, but I think it'll get the job done. It's a little bit blurry, but it will work. So I'm taking my Spectra Noir marker in TB2, and I'm using the bull the bigger point, not the bullet point, but the chisel tip of the marker. And I'm kind of putting it close to the letter and pulling down on the marker to kind of get a cloud effect or a highlight effect on the words. And I'm not going like all the way in the middle and I'm just certainly not touching the letters themselves. Just going right to the bottom edge and laying that marker down and pulling it out. Um, I did the same thing at the top with the same color pushing and something that's really cool on this paper is I'm noticing that this marker is kind of changing colors as I go. It's like it's getting bluer. The top is bluer than how when I first write with it and I'm glad of that because I was like I really wanted this to be bluer. I think this kind of sketch paper doesn't love the alcohol ink at first but it's coming around. So I wanted to start like that. So that was the TB2. Now I'm going to take the TB1 which is a little bit lighter and I'm going to come underneath it and do the same thing again. Not quite as perfect, just a little more um, messy, some more of the flow coming out. So I like how that's starting to look. And we're going to add some more color, and I think that'll help it out, you know, make it um, 
pop even more. I'm going to add some more color to these letters and I'm going to go to the brighter colors in my Spectrum Noir palette and listen I'm not going to do any blending today. The only blending we did was just um, there on the little um, stuff we just did with the blues, the two blues. I'm not blending. I'm only going to use single colors because these stamps have these little designs in the letters and I think it'll be cute to kind of uh, color these stamps and focus on let those designs kind of pop. I wanted to pop a little bit more so I've got this very pale light gray and I'm gonna go around and just kind of put behind the letters kind of where the if the light were coming this way at it so I'm just gonna go through and do some gray in there the cool part about this is these letters are so sloppy that you can be sloppy <laughs> I think that's what I love about them is that I don't have to be perfect when I play with these letters I can get out of the lines and just be sloppy So I love how that looks. That's exactly what I was going for. Now I want to take a second to add my scripture in. So there's my coloring. I really like how that turned out. Now I'm going to come up here and I want to put my scripture in. And I may even put it here too. I'm going to come here and write Romans 1 16. Just because I think it'd look cool right there to add that. And then up here I'll write Romans again. So I have my scripture at the top. What I'm going to use the rest of the page for is I want to basically journal about the day that Thomas spoke. So I'm going to just come in and do some journaling around the words. And when I'm finished, I'll come back and catch up with you. So this is my page for this week. I really like how it turned out. I have my scripture here and then I have my journaling about the day around it and I love this in the middle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a little bit different from how we normally do things but I just thought this would be cool. I know I kind of switched it up and had my art run across but I couldn't fit all this onto one page and you know what? That's what creativity is. Just play. Let the page speak to you and I feel like this one really does speak to me. I challenge you guys to not be ashamed of the gospel, for it truly is the power of salvation. Share the gospel with everyone you meet. And this week, find a way that you can be unashamed and you can be bold for the Lord. Thanks so much for watching, and until next week, have a great one. Bye-bye.